Two and a half to go. Brunel over the middle finds James Thrash, who has a first down for the Redskins, inches inside the Dallas 35. Well, this offensive line really overall has done a good job for Mark Brunel as well. And then you've got Thrash running a square, and you can see right down the middle. That's exactly what Mark Brunel was looking at himself. Have time in the pocket, you got an open receiver, just get it in his hands. You know, Mark Brunel, who was sacked. First down. Handoff is to Portis. And Portis to the 32. The inexperienced Nick Novak getting ready. Cowboys took the lead at the start of this second half, 19 to 12. Earlier, they went for a two point conversion. And the first quarter failed. It's the difference in this game as Portis, third down and three for the Redskins. In the backfield, Portis brought down by Roy Williams. And Dallas, they think about taking a timeout, they should. And now they will. They're first. So here's Novak, a guy who took over, started today 0 for 2 after replacing the injured John Hall. Novak will try it from 49 yards. He missed from this distance in their last game at Indy. Pushed to the right. And Novak replacing John Hall is now one for four on the season. You know, I'll go back to that third down call as we take a look here at the attempt from 49 yards. But they had run the ball with Clinton Portis on first down and second down and really didn't get much out of it. And on third and short, third and four, they elect to go with Clinton Portis again instead of trying to maybe take a shot to one of the wide receivers for the first down. He stands by himself on the sideline and watches his defense take over. Cowboys. Fasano. A ton of open room in front of him and Fasano is out of bounds with a first down near midfield. He would have run for 20 minutes. Well and that's the problem with Dallas having two timeouts you miss the field goal attempt and now all of a sudden you give Dallas great field position with still time enough on the clock because of the timeouts to get themselves in a position to kick a field goal for the win which would have happened on that one play had Fasano not slipped that's right after making the catch I mean there was nobody along the sideline. Can Romo get his team in field goal position? Fires, completes. That's Terrell Owens and a timeout taken immediately by Bill Parcells with 18 seconds left. This season, Vanderjet is five for five in the fourth quarter and his season long is 50 yards. To get into that range, the Cowboys need to pick up another 13 yards. But with one timeout, Dallas can still throw the ball to the middle of the field. Romo steps up down the middle, overshoots Witten, who was behind Adam Archuleta. Romo fires for Witten over the middle. There's the completion. Timeout Dallas with six seconds left. And they are well within field goal range for Vanderjet as the young Tony, Tony Romo makes the completion to Jason Witt and Adam Archuleta the guy who lost his job to Troy Vincent because he doesn't cover very well is the guy who's locked on Jason Witten down the seam. A perfect pass by Tony Romo and a nice catch by Jason Witten. It will be a 28 yard gain and a 35 yard attempt by Vanderjet who has 11 career game winning field goals. If you're just joining us 
Here's the game. Tied at 19. Six seconds to go. Vanderjat has it blocked. Picked up by Taylor. Penalty flag on the play, and Taylor's still going. Troy Vincent blocked it. There's a flag down, but it came after the block. Personal foul, dressed in the face mask, kicking team, number 63. 15 yard penalty added to the end of the run. The game will be extended by one untimed down. First down. So one untimed down, and this 15 yard penalty will march the ball down inside field goal range. And you look, it's Vincent who got his hands up and blocked it for Washington. It was Troy Vincent that blocked it, but I don't know that it would have mattered even if he hadn't have gotten it. There was three other hands back there that would have gotten a hand on it as well. And now you think about the fact that Sean Taylor, rather than just going down, he kept running and got a good return on that ball. Now you add the penalty on top of that, and now here you are, and the Redskins are going to be given an opportunity to make a field goal on their own. And Novak will come onto the field. He has missed from 49. He's hit from 28, one for four all year. And I guarantee you, every coach on the sidelines for the Redskins was yelling for Sean Taylor to get to the ground and not turn it over. Now look at it. 47 yard try to win it for the Redskins. Good. Redskins win. Good snap, good hold. And it just drew enough for Novak to make him the hero. Missing from 49, but hitting from 47. The Redskins snap a three game losing streak. The Cowboys back to 500 at four and four. What a turnaround in the last few seconds. Washington wins it. We're back after this.